music houses are coming to independent writers and producers and artists in order to demo and instead of going mm. to straight up regular composers they'd be like how can we engage the independent music community and they'll come cool. to them and be like hey will this artist do a demo for us for this commercial you know you get a lot a small demo fee for doing it but like and it may not stick but it's a really good process for these artists to go through and it's also you know it's a little bit of an ego boost for them to see that they're you know these people respect what they're doing and already know have them on their radar and you know trust them enough to actually go and do go to bat for them and i think it's pretty cool like it's hard like you know like we go back to like any sort of branding they do want to like a big popular song attached to it as much as possible they want it to be huge recognizable if they can but their budgets don't always work that way yeah yeah Yeah, i did i did a lot of those like demo type things when i was working for uh, a specific producer a few years ago and he loved to get his artist spots and you know so a lot of a lot of demo work but yeah um, it's it's it's, it's, yeah. it's tough man and some people find it more difficult than others and you know yeah especially the artists who um you know have a unique sound um they find it and you know work on their own in very like you know very isolated way and yeah. some of them don't take notes very well some of them don't like most uh, of them <laughs> <laughs> it's tough and i've always encouraged people from that point of view to be like you know what put the eyes thing aside here they're asking for your, your artist project but you could do it under a different name you could say this is you know joe blogs i'm gonna do this for um for, for like these sorts of background kind of routine like you know money they make money at the end of the day it's like a yeah. i always call it like you know just like it's like busy work man it's like admin for them it's cool. Yeah, well, it's it's still making music though, but it, exactly, I think it would be yeah. a fun exercise for a lot of people because it's also an exercise in like kind of uh, uh, being accepting of taking notes. Like you're mm-hmm. you're trying to make your art, but you're also not in control of it. Yeah. So it's like a that's quite a like a thing putting, for people. Putting your to, ego aside is tough for some people. Like in that yeah. sense, like being able to, I, yeah. I would find it difficult as well. Like I think it's it's tough and yeah, but um, also being able to you know take what people are giving you in a brief maybe on a phone call or on a, in an email and putting it into a music into a song is not easy like it's pretty no. like they can give you some sort of references to go by but it's tough man i think i have a lot of i have a lot of respect for people that do it but i always encourage people to do it as well i'm like you know what if it, even if it doesn't even if it doesn't go through even if you don't aren't successful and it doesn't hit it's um it's a it's a great thing to do it's a great way to experience like writing cutting for picture and like you know demo and or taking notes building and, relationships yep, too exactly you know it's exactly. like you know so and so has done like 10 demos for us let's just keep going back until you until and they you will. nail one and then and they'll come back and you they get will. your trailer and get your trailer check and everything will be fine yeah man yeah then you can just quit music <laughs> <laughs>